This is the Soundtrax uh, Solo Logic, as it's called. It's similar to the Solo console, uh, but this has got um, an automation feature, which is uh, VCA control and mutes. I mean, the Solo has got mutes as well, but this has got uh, a similar system. It's got the VCA as well. So it's very, very simple. Basically, you've got a little pad here, controller pad. Uh, it just makes sure the auto is on. And you can flip through these um, various menus. If you press enter there, you can clear down the mix that you've used. And there, it's easy enough to This mix has been cleared. Um, you've got file for saving um, data, that sort of thing. Setup, you don't have to worry about that, except if you want to change any MIDI settings. So you can use a calibrate setting on there, which basically. Uh, if you put all the faders down, press enter, it asks you to just go through a little boot up routine there. Push all the faders to the bottom, and that's calibrated. Um, stats there, it's sort of about memory. I think you can do about one or two songs on it. Um, time code, you can do standard frame, stuff like that, internal or external, very simple stuff. If we go back to. Um, the uh, auto on faders record. This is a sort of sets you up to record. Um, it only records level. I've got something coming in, an oscillator coming in on one there. So this will be the fader, and there's my level going in. Like that. Just match up those master faders. Uh, right. So it's very simple. All you do is just press record button and play together just like a tape machine really and then you can uh, make some fader movements there like that uh, obviously it will record all the mutes as well so you can hit a bunch of mutes there blah 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 blah, blah. and then you go back to the keypad just press stop ask you do you want to keep it just press Act enter for yes it's, uh, I stopped it at 21 seconds there, so if I press stop again, it just takes it back to zero, just like a sequencer really. And then you press play. And hopefully it will have remembered that um, fader movement. So there we go. That's the actual level. And it should pick up a few mutes as well. There you go. That's it, solo logic. I mean, the thing about this desk is the EQ, which is the really nice EQ on there, it's similar to the CM4400 and the Quartz and the Megas, of course. This is basically a Megas console in a smaller package. Uh, EQ is four band, two mid sweeps. This is the high and low shelf at the top there. These are the mid sweeps here, and you can assign that to the channel default or monitor there look you can uh, assign it to the monitor input which is the tape input usual uh, configuration six auxiliaries uh, aux 2 is only sourceable from the monitor input or the tape input so it's five auxiliaries on the channel and then one on the monitor but you can um, switch those to the look you can put the aux 4 onto monitor and aux 6 um, Going down the channel, very simple, normal stuff, fader, on, solo, this is the group assign, so that's to send out to your multi-track for instance, then this is your monitor return, there's your level, there's your pan, solo, on and off switch, mix just flips over the signal from um, monitor to, to main fader, and then the bus basically just takes the signal straight out the back, there's a tape out, so it's like a direct out, if you like, on the back there. Um, you still go through the main the group fader here. So you've only actually got eight buses independently. Although you could go out to all 24 tape outs, you know, as direct outs, which is quite useful. Over on the uh, right-hand side, I've got the usual, I've got the AUX masters. I don't know why they've done it like this, but anyway, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are your AUX masters. You've got the uh, bit of effects returns, four stereo effects returns here the two band EQ and uh, you can assign that to the aux one for the musicians to hear you know reverbs and stuff you've got your uh, balance there pan 
this is your level to mix so this is your effects returns so that's your level there's your on and off uh, you can assign it to groups one and two or to left and right there uh, this is the group out so this is uh, monitoring this this is the group out faders these will be going to multi-track normally these are the monitor level as they call it. sorry these are the pan levels there is no monitor level uh, you basically just switch them on and off here and uh, you've got your pan there so that's that's the level it's sort of set by the fader out really that's that's how you see that now you don't see any group outs on the meters on on the solo logic you do on the solo so this metering here is very basic it's just really looking at the input you know that's all it does it just sees the input and um, and the tape return so there's no group out monitoring over on the master we've got um, in place solo so that's basically stereo uh, solo you hit that and you can uh, get your solo image in the stereo image um, oscillator on board so that would be you can send that to the studio or you can send it to the groups just for lining up stuff um, little bit of a section here you've got the phones output studio output that'd be the, for the musicians there's your control room output there's your on uh, you can dim it if the phone goes you've got two tracks a return there and then you've got two pairs you've got a or b two track returns microphone there there's your talk button so if you wanted to use that you'd this pot doubles up as the oscillator and talk back so if you just assign that onto there send it to the studio for instance talk to that and then that will go out to the musicians in the studio as opposed to the control room there we are the solo logic uh, 1992 i think this one is lovely console if looks arthur you may hear some stories about the automation being problematic but that's usually because people have left the desk in the garage for a couple of years and the battery goes sour and can cause problems so do be careful if you're buying off ebay or whatever make sure all the automation is working or buy it from me and then you won't have any worries at all so signing out from the very cold shed